Church of Scientology, feeling some trepidation and anxiety at the forthcoming Alex Gibney HBO documentary. Wikipedia says Alex Gibney is the documentarian of our age. He's a guy with credentials. Church of Scientology, feeling queasy, takes out two full-page ads. New York Times, Los Angeles Times. Let me tell you what I know from my 35 years within. Church didn't pay for those ads. It hit on the whales. Phone call. Be a crusader. Be on the cutting edge of the civilization. Change the civilization by showing your warrior investment into two million people reading what you pay for. I'm telling you, two, three whales paid for that. More than that, right? <laughs> opens up the door. Luis Garcia, a wealthy Californian from Orange County, was wooed to pay for a cross. The cross on top of the superpower building. And the registrars came in and bombarded him. Louis, $60,000 and you will be the person that got this cross on the skyline of Clearwater. And Louis Garcia gave them $60,000 only to discover later 10 to 15 other people were given the same pitch. You will be mounting the cross in Clearwater. Do you see the scam? I'm guessing half a dozen whales each paid for the Los Angeles Times and New York Times ad. Didn't come out of church reserves. They hit on gullible public for the new emergency. The opening sentence in this ad, the Church of Scientology stands for free speech. Preposterous! What? In my 35 years in, I learned you speak free speech with anything negative on the church and you will be shut down and spiritually given the treatment of a whipping boy. You will be segregated from the group. You will be tarred and feathered. You will be named. This is, this is how they name something negative on the church. Free speech is changed to black PR. This is a black PR. This is an enemy line. This is, this is not truth. This is a merchant of chaos. What's the overall purpose of what we're doing? What's the final? objective here and they said you know we want to make Marty's life living hell quote unquote and then some of the other like I said I'm sure if it was Richard or Joanne but I know that they were saying that they wanted to run you out of any town that you moved into. They so in other words when they get me out of here they're going to oh, show yeah, me further? Absolutely. I mean it's it, it's obvious that mm -hmm. they're set on just making your life from miserable hell obviously. Hey, Ralphie. He's out to destroy himself, his wife, and Scientology. Of course, ludicrous act activities and efforts like this only can flunk. That Flunk, flunk for out to your one. Cult will continue to lose. Or Marty Rathman can't escape the truth that his actions clearly show that he is anti LRH and anti Scientology. <laughs> you guys. Are That's it today from IOB. Thank you very much. We'll be back with more breaking news as Marty continues to prove his suppressive tendencies. Off this one. 
The only reason you guys came back is because allegedly I was going to Germany. That was a week ago since I came back. All right. Bots. Your blog? Yeah. Have you read my your blog? The answer is the most, the yes or no, Dan. I have read portions of your no, blog. No, no, read the whole thing. You read? Your blog is the read most the disgusting thing, thing I've ever no, seen in my life. what's disgusting is you standing here okay. as a freaking OT8 and in this ghetto. Go ahead, ghetto. do it, Mosey. That's what's disgusting. Okay. Pretending to be a Scientologist, an OT8, standing there like a goofball. What do you know about OT8? You obviously know more than you do. I'm not standing Scientology. here making an ass of myself in front of the whole world, no, letting Scientology, letting the whole world know that you Scientology people from the church are lunatics. Right. That's what I know. That's what I see. I'm not running around with stupid little hats and T-shirts on. Go. Neither are we. Go home. You tell your cult leader Miscavige. You know what you're talking about. Hey Raphael, you tell your cult leader Miscavige that if he wants to send a message to me, don't send no jive ass. That's Western Union messenger boy. And you idiots are riding around in a golf cart. You know what Scientology is? You riding around no in a golf idea. cart? You asked me the other day, is he auditing? Yes, he's fucking auditing, and you're riding around in a golf cart. You now, who's the Scientologist? Now, who's the squirrel? Yeah, do the foster care. Do you get paid enough for the foster care to do that? Well, did you know these guys? Never seen them in my life. Uh, that's not true, Marty. Unfortunately, you lose on that one. Are you, may I ask no. you are? Really? Are you yeah, so anyway, you? I'm actually not having a talk with you. I'm here to talk with Marty. So can you tell me your name? I wanted, and you actually, I, I have to it. tell you my name because it's, it's my own freedom of speech. You are muzzled and gagged in the church like nowhere else. Maybe the KGB in the days of <laughs> the Iron Curtain of Russia, maybe they had that kind of stringent rules about talking. The church is almost in a jihad with you. Just like right now, a cartoon on Muhammad will cause an uproar with the Muslim. Scientology is identical. You speak about David Miscavige like that? or say something negative about the church overly taking your money, wham! If they didn't really, if, if, if free speech really existed, why disconnection? The policy, of, why would anyone have to disconnect from it? The reason they disconnect from it is that they might hear free speech. The whole underlying motive of disconnection is for you not to hear the other side of Scientology, the darker side of Scientology. Let me tell you how Alex Gibney could work out to be a money maker for the church. Want to know how? Sure. Because a ton of Scientologists will watch it secretly and they will have to pay fifty to a hundred thousand dollars in sex checks paying the church to confess and relieve their soul from the evil that they did by watching the HBO documentary. Money maker! The church should thank Alex Gibney for some new ploy to extort new fresh money from their dwindling audience.